Introducing the brand new Nook Glow Light 4, but this time it's a little bit different because this one is the Pearl Pink Limited Edition. And not only did they change the back of the unit themselves, but they actually changed the front bezel as well, which actually means that it's not black or dark gray, instead it's white as to complement the pink color. This is the first time Barnes & Noble has ever made an alternative color choice to any one of their e-readers throughout their entire history. This has a 6 inch display with 300 ppi and a glow light with warm lighting as well. It has 32 gigs on board storage and of course has physical page turn buttons as well as the signature N button at the bottom. This will look a little bit different than when you order it yourselves because this is a review sample but the box opens up like this and if you read here it actually says anti-glare screen protector already installed so you're not really required to add on any additional screen protector because that's just unnecessary. So this is the front of the Barnes & Noble. We're going to put that off to the side just for a second while we explore the rest of the box. You have your information card right there and underneath you have your USB-C cable and there's nothing else other than a security tag down below. Now something very important before we dive into the unit itself is that they didn't only just change the unit, they changed the box. And why this is important is because other manufacturers like Amazon or Kobo or anyone else in the industry sometimes just puts a little marking or a piece of tape that says it's white or black or blue or whatever the case may be, but they've actually done a full coat of pink on the box on every conceivable side and they've also added a little seal which isn't just a sticker it's built into the box which means they designed and printed it as is not only that the imagery reflects the unit itself so they went the extra mile to actually design the box around what the color choice on the inside was going to be which is a very nice touch and something not a lot of people notice as you can see here the front is white which very much complements the back powder pink which is a perfect pop of color. This is a much needed refresher in their lineup as most of their devices throughout the history have just been white or black or some sort of dark color. This one definitely works well with the white. There'd be no way to pull this off with the standard black front and a pink back. It just wouldn't work. Turning around the unit really quick, you have your power button up top, physical patron buttons on the side, on the right side as well. You have the N button that acts as a home slash back depending on what screen you're on. And and you have a status indicator light and a USB-C. The buttons also curl over to the side and they're thumbnail style which means you can push them down like that or you can utilize the side of it as well and they both interact. They're very clicky as well, very rewarding to press. This is a very, very nice color. I can't stress that enough. It really does just brighten up the room whether you have this on your bedside table, your coffee table or just out in your living room, dining room area. It is a much needed refresher for the their lineup. I very much appreciate the color. We very much appreciate the review sample and stay tuned for a full review coming up soon for goodyreader.com and an unboxing of the Nook Glowlight 4 Limited Edition Pearl Pink. This is Peter.